Hello everyone and welcome to the Freedom Channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to record on OBS and how my methods are when I record. So let's get down to it. So the first thing you've got is all this blank screen here. You've got your scenes, you've got your source and your audio mixer. And not to mention you've got your scene transactions. So we're going to start off by going into output. And then we're going to go into advance. So I've got to say it first, if you're new to recording, uh, I would just leave audio track ticked one. That's it. The recording path is where you want to put it. So if you've got your own certain folder, just say my videos. Oh. And then just select folder. It will be in that folder every time you record. Video encoding. All right, I'd always leave it around the H.264, but it's entirely up to you. If you're using an AMD, I would say AMD. Just do not, I would repeat, do not use X264. Certain people can know how to do it, but I'd say this is the better sweet spot out of everything else. So here's like my kind of example. Now, rescale output, we've already got that under video output, so we don't really need to touch much of those. Here into the encoder settings, always put CBR check. Always do that, no matter what. And uh, if you're going to record, I would suggest to stick it onto 6,000 or 5,000 KBS. And if that's if you're only recording. Um, your key interval, make sure that is set to 2 seconds. Now here comes your presets here. These are quite interesting because you've got loads of different ones. So the more slow you go, you get the better quality. However, the more performance your computer will get hit. I personally would set mine to medium. Um, low doesn't have a great quality. We can do a comparison to that in a second, but I would either stick it to medium or slow. If you've got a really fast computer like an RTX, uh, series with a load of RAM and other good processors. I'd try and go around slow. Just don't go to best quality at the moment. I would suggest to go to somewhere good. It's entirely up to you. You can tr test it out. If it says underneath down here, video encoding frames, blah, 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 uh, you will see it here. It's unrecognizable. That means your computer is taking too much hit on OBS. Multi-pass mode, I would normally suggest to put that on two passes, but if you're only recording only, give full resolution a try. GPU, just leave that on to zero. Um, B, MB frames, leave that on to two. So now we've got our audio, and because we're only using track one, I'd normally set it around, like if you're doing recording only, 320. But if you're live streaming, 192. But, we're doing, but for the soul of this video, we're doing recording, so 320. Now here onto your video, uh, because I like to I like to stream and record and play stuff on a monitor that's got 1600 by 900. I'm an old school type guy. I like that. But if you've got a decent monitor, then 1280 by 720. If your computer is if you're starting to get like lag and real bad stutter, turn down your output scale resolution to 1280 by 720. Uh, downscale filter. If you're recording again, you could always put it to 60 bit if your computer is good enough. But even if I'm recording and I'm live streaming, I'm always going to keep it on 16-bit sample. Um, of course, because you're going to be recording only, just leave that si sweet 60 frames right there. Common value, just leave that like that. So I'm going to swing it back to 1600 by 900 because that's my normal thing. Advance. Now, we talked about this last time. Uh, if give, give it a try if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially when putting it on high. Um, that will probably overheat your computer or just make your computer really worse. 
Um, I remember doing it last time, and I said a hi, and I was getting the amount of lags every time I was trying to move different scenes. Uh, render display, direct 3D 11, that's all you're going to leave, and just everything else that you just kind of... Now, because you're recording, you won't be needing stream delay or automatic reset or network or even sources. So then we've now we've just covered that. Uh, another one we need to cover is in the audio section over here. Now, if you've got your mic and headset, the first thing you want is to put your desktop audio. So let's say I'm going to be using my headsets. My microphone definitely is going to be something like... Let's just say here without the still series getting involved. Delay rates fine, monitor fine, all that, just leave that just as it is. So as you can see down here, my microphone and Alex is there. My desktop audio will happen uh, when we start a game. But now we're going to click and start a whole setup ready. So let's say I go add and I can do one thing, I can display capture. Which, without a shadow of a doubt, hang on, give me a second. We'll just keep my everything, as you can see here, you'll keep it just normal displayed. So, it will capture the entire thing of what I'm doing here on display from getting, not playing the game to playing the game. So, say for instance here, Curse 3. So as you can see here, um, that's what the display capture does. But let's uh, let's close this display capture. Sorry, it's a bit loud on my section. So the display capture is really, really good. However, um, certain games don't like the, uh, display capture. Uh, I think more high performance type games are. And then there's also the game capture mode, which we're going to be doing now. So let's let's find a game to pick and. I'm going to go ahead and start Mortal Shell here. What we're also going to do is we're going to delete display capture so I can give you an example. Let's get out of the way there. So now the game is loading up. As you can see here, it's all loaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to click um, game capture. Now, again, game capture is hit and miss. If you do capture any full screen application, it will try to do it, so if I wait for this to load in a bit more. And this is what I don't like when it when you've just got it on that, because it won't... About 70% of the time, it won't do it, and that's really bad. So instead, I would strongly recommend to go to Capture Specific Window and click Window and the game that you want to screen capture. As you can see here... It's fully screened, and that's the thing with with this special display for or uh, capture any full screen application. And this is what I mean with um, capture any full screen application. Seven, thirty percent chance it will do it. Seventy percent chance it won't. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay, so yeah, if you're playing something like Destiny, um, for some reason they have this special anti cheat. That won't let anyone use game capture, so you have to either display capture it, which kind of sucks. Now, uh, another method here I will show you. Games like RPG Engine stuff, style, or like small box games. Uh, let me find Fear and Hunger. That has kind of like, that uses the kind of RPG element, or RPG maker element. Um, so display capturing it, you could possibly do it. It's it's probably a miss, but uh, I'll show you what I mean. What we can do with this instead, we can window capture, create new window capture, and it will capture that entire screen. And then if you really want to try stretching it, there we go. Now that's another thing I want to get to now is the shaping of your streams and like your screen captures and stuff like that. So for the final thing I want to show you guys is how to kind of manipulate your screen share, like, you know, what people can see. So let's say for an example, you open up your display capture and it's like that. There's two ways you can do it. The first way is you click and then you can just drag it into that. 
if, as you can see here, I've got a line there, but it's not stretched enough, what we can do, and let's bring it back to as it is, if you look on your keyboard, and you hold sh left shift, and then left click, you can manipulate all that around. How cool is that? And you can do that also with game capture as well. In the next video, I want to kind of show you guys how to use the audio filters soon. So how to kind of add your noise gate or limiter or maybe composing or other stuff. And also you can see where I just shouted louder. It's more of at the red bar. I want you going to show you how to put it, just leave it around the yellow bit. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this little small tutorial helped you out a bit. Um, remember, there's loads of other videos around the world, but this was my method of how I use OBS quite frequently. So, uh, without further ado, you guys take care and have a wonderful day.